In this interesting question, given is a right angle triangle and a circle. Circle is touching the right angle sides at two points, and at this point of tangency, it is bisecting the hypotenuse. If the length of this red tangent is given as two centimeter, using this limited data, we have to find the radius of the circle. Let's check the solution. So here we'll do it in two steps. First, we'll find the length of AB, and then we'll find the radius of the circle. Let's start by joining EF. As this line is diameter, so angle F is 90 degrees. Let's join OD. As AB is tangent, thus angle D is 90 degrees. Let's extend DO. These three angles are 90, so angle G is 90 degrees. It's a rectangle is there. And thus FG is same as AD, that is two centimeter. We know from center, if we draw a perpendicular, it bisects the chord, and thus GE length will be same as two centimeter. From point E, let's draw a perpendicular. Now again, this is a rectangle is getting formed, so length DG will be same as two centimeter. Now let's take this angle C here. Now here, if we look at the triangle CFE, it has got this pink triangle angle and a 90 degree, and the full triangle CAB, it also has got same pink angle and 90 degree. So both the triangles are similar. Thus the ratio of sides will be equal. Now here, if we we'll say CE is x centimeter, now E is the midpoint, so length CB will be 2x. So the ratio is 1 is to 2. So if FE is 4 cm, then full length AB will be 8 cm. Here AG is 4, and thus remaining length GB that will be 4 cm. From point B, external point, we are drawing two tangents BD and BE. So these two tangents will be equal in length. BD is 6, and thus BE, BE will also be 6 cm. Now let's look at the triangle EGB. So in this triangle, we'll apply Pythagoras theorem to get value of EG as six square minus four square and square root of that. That is two root five. If EG is two root five, then so will be GD. That is two root five. Now here in this circle, if we look, then FE is a chord and DG DH that's also a chord. They are intersecting each other at point G. So applying power of point or intersecting chord theorem, we get DG times GH is FG times GE. Putting the values, so this is two root five times GH is two times two. Solving it, we'll get value of GH as two root five by five. Now the diameter of the circle that will be your DG plus GH. That is two root five plus two root five by five. Solving it, we'll get diameter as twelve root five upon five, and dividing by two, we get radius as six root five by five centimeter. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.